What's up, everybody? You got VPB Money Man here. If you are triggered by the truth and you love being lied to black folks, you might as well click off this video because I don't lie to you on this channel. The reason why I came at so many of these big black YouTube influencers is because they had some of the biggest financial platforms and they literally came up here and pumped garbage. They didn't pump real estate. They didn't pump learning a trade. They didn't pump getting a good career. They didn't pump good investments. They pumped buy this stupid stock, buy my discord, pay for my classes. Uh, here's a link below. You get some stock. I get some stock. Trade, 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 and you'll be a millionaire. That's not how it works, ladies and gentlemen. Black folks, that's not how it works. My channel's not going to grow. You're absolutely right, but I don't care because I'm not going to sell out. A lot of these people, they eventually have to live with themselves. They're not going to be able to go in public anymore because their credibility is done. Your Larry Jones, your Chris Sains, your uh, Keenan Graces, they're all trying to talk about blue chip stocks now. You can go back in their history of what they pumped to you. This is why I bought Hylion. Hylion, whatever that company name is, it's going to go bankrupt. I looked at the finances. It is a horrible company. It was a pump and dump. The insiders got wealthy and they will eventually go bankrupt. What they're trying to achieve is unsustainable. It's unsustainable. It's not going to happen. There's not enough battery power. Let me explain our reality. Today, a clean diesel truck can spend 15 minutes fueling anywhere in the country and then have a range of about 1,200 miles before fueling again. In contrast, today's long haul battery electric trucks have a range of about 150 to maybe 330 miles and can take up to 10 hours to charge. So for the same 1200 mile journey, we'd go from 15 minutes of fueling a clean diesel truck once to charging today's BEV four to eight times for dozens and dozens of hours. And this is converting the US fleet of class eight trucks to battery electric would require a $1 trillion investment, which ultimately would flow to, to consumer. To put a tractor trailer on the road and be able to pull loads and be time efficient and make it there on time. It's just not gonna happen. But people didn't do their own due diligence. They wanna be told you're gonna be a millionaire. Why do you think Mommy Trader names her videos now? Investment strategies by a millionaire. She's not a millionaire, she's unemployed. Name me one person who's unemployed and a millionaire, never had a trade, never done nothing, no skills, no nothing. They're just a millionaire and they're able to be retired at home living the best life and travel. Doesn't work. It doesn't happen. People's channels grow because they sell you lies and dreams. Even B. Hayes started off trying to tell you how to live frugally, but his channel didn't grow. And now he's got to, you know, shuck and jive and Ooh, yeah, 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 look for yourself. Control. You in control of what your, like, you in control of what your uh, car payment is. You in control of what your mortgage or your rent is. You in control of when you when you go out. We did Beth and Beyond. You guys see exactly what's going on. My boy just alerted me. He was like, dang, hey, you see what's going on? Like, nah, because I don't even know what. He's like, bro, look. I said, dang, I looked. I'm like, good God, that mother done dropped the 13 cents. But anyways, we already know this was a high possibility. But due to me being a psychological trader, I knew without a doubt. Baby. So you see, B. Hayes even tried to talk about living frugally and money saving things, but his channel wasn't growing. So he had to get up here flashy with the gold and shining all in your face. You know what I'm saying? If you think pennies, you'll get pennies. All right. You want to play around with bankrupt, stupid companies and not do your own due diligence like they told you. That's how you'll be. It makes no difference if my channel. I want my channel to grow so the message gets out there. And so I can get compensated for all the hard work and editing and all the time I do put into this because I don't have to do this. I don't have to tell you this stuff. I could just live my life and get my pension when I retire, my Social Security and my investments and drive my Shelby and go to Aruba and travel the world and and and, and, and you know, and and go off in the sunset, but I want people to learn how to do this. This is why I started my channel. I will never pump penny stocks to you. I will never pump get rich quick crap to you. It doesn't happen like that. You got to learn a trade. You got to learn a skill. You got to have a career. You got to get into real estate. You got to save your money. You got to live below your means. You got to have no debt to low debt. If you are going to have car payments, it shouldn't be 50% of your take home. Okay. You got to have multiple streams of incomes. That's that's how millionaires are created, not by sitting on a couch selling you a booklet on how to track dividends. You need money to go out to buy the dividend stocks to bring 
in to get the dividends. All right. So people can sit up here and lie to you all you want. Like you're going to be a millionaire. It ain't going to happen. You already got your reparations, people. Ooh, I know this is going to trigger a lot of people. You already got your reparations. You already got paid money for your kids. You got paid money to be at home and unemployed. You got extensions on your unemployment. And what did you do with the money? Did you put it? Did you, you know, did you and your family pull it all together and go buy a three family or an apartment building? No. A lot of people went and bought Louis Gucci and, you know, you know, uh, Gucci wallets, but have no money in them. Now you took vacations, you bought shoes, you partied, you drank, you smoked weed, you did everything with it and you don't have it anymore. Guess what? The ship is sailed. You ain't never getting that free money back because it was not free. You're paying it back with inflation. You're paying it back with the form of higher prices right now. So was it really free? You got to understand something. You got to put in that work. And if you're not going to put that work in, you're going to be uh, homeless, broke, poverty, uh, eating dog food, and you're going to be blaming everybody else instead of taking a look at the mirror. Have a wonderful day.